Throughout history, humans have been fascinated with mythical beings, from goblins to half-human, half-animal beasts. They have been fascinated with higher power beings, such as angels and demons. Artists have expressed their own vision of these beings through their artwork, from early artworks such as the Venus of Willendorf, a goddess figure that symbolized fertility, that was created around 28,000 BC, to Raphael's painting of St. Michael, a battle between good and evil that was created in 1505. Some artists began to use their personal dreams and nightmares to help them depict what demons looked like. Demon imagery began to rise during the Renaissance era, as most artists were pardoned and commissioned by the Catholic Church. Therefore, artists during this era mainly focused on God, saints, angels, and demons as subject matter. Hieronymus Bosch was a Renaissance artist from the Netherlands. He was part of the Northern Renaissance movement and mainly depicted images of distortion and a horrific afterlife that followed by the Last Judgment Day. In his painting, Death and the Miser, Bach shows the viewer the last moments in the life of the miser. A demon crawls from under his bed, another one right above him. An angel guards the miser's life, pleading for his soul. Death waits at the door. It waits and waits, waiting as if it wants to be invited invited to take the last breathing moments of the miser. This oil painting on panel was typical of Renaissance art because Bach used key elements such as symmetry as he used columns on each side of the painting, the dull colors such as the dull pinks and dull greens, the use of realism as a human reflects on his deathbed and the use of linear perspective. William Adolphe Bouguereau was a French painter that was known for his bright, sexy, and crowd-pleasing paintings. This was typical of the neoclassic art movement. In his painting titled Dante and Virgil in Hell, Bouguereau depicts the story of the Divine Comedy, a story that starts off bad and ends up bad. Dante searches out to find himself and is guided by Virgil, which leads him into Hell. Here, Bouguereau depicts two damned souls, emphasizing in physical pain, surrounded by sinners. Dante and Virgil look as Gianni, a character guilty of fraud, bites the neck of Cappuccio, who is heretic and an alchemist. Bouguereau pays particular attention to his subjects' new bodies. He paints them dramatically lit, emphasizing their muscle and strained expressions showing agony. Dante and Virgil in Hell is typical of the neoclassic art because it includes concentration of Greek and Roman mythology. It is also typical of the neoclassic art because of the male nudity, the dramatic lighting, the hard edges, and the bright primary colors that are used throughout the painting. The neoclassic period is considered a period of enlightenment, a movement away from the Renaissance era. Each artist depicted demons differently in their artworks. Some used Bible imagery, and others used their own personal nightmares. Each artist had their own interpretation of what demons looked like. Unhuman creatures, often with horns on top of their head. A pointy tail. Red skin, to depict the fires of hell. Blue skin, to depict death and decay. Often with wings. One thing artists were certain of was that if good existed, then evil did too.